I need to figure this out. Open, she can't cheat with a real one. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. <laughs> you are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. Oh, okay. The company like I keep. To her. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Only two more files to go. I certainly can't use this. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. <laughs> Who would not? And nothing here. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Let's nab this last file, sure. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Hmm. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. Shocker.
If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Hmm. You're not so tacky up close. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa. Listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. It's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. <laughs> it's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. No. Are you going to make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. That well pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Wow. Well. That totally makes sense. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Hmm. Boys or girls? Girls, of course. Girls? Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Where does that other sock go? Socks. Oh. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Those are some musty-ass old shirts. Yuck. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? The wit, it burns. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. <laughs> These are cool shots. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. <laughs> Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Yes, we get it. Otters. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. It's a godlike combo. So, the big plan is win. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Chloe just couldn't wait to splish splash in the pool. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. Yes. <laughs> 